This monkey will not leave this. Even though to the point that he's already captured. And this is one thing we captured here in, in, in our country. How to catch a monkey. Amen. Now, Satan really loves to catch believers. He will put bait to us. If your weakness are women, he will give you beautiful women. If your weaknesses are money, he will give you more money. If your, if your weaknesses are your job or looking for a job, he will give you a nice job to the point that you are learning, you are already uh, cannot attend Bible study. To the point that you already forget God. Amen? This is the work of the devil. He will always put you in things like getting away from God. Temptations, trials. Amen? So many things. I don't know uh, what's working in your mind now. But temptations, trials, I, maybe you've encountered these things. Maybe upon coming here, your, your clothes, your dirty clothes are waiting for you to be washed. Maybe you are coming here because your loved one says you will be there in Bible study for one hour only. Amen? Or you, you will not go to Bible study because we will go outside and eat. So many things, many things that will, anything that separate us from God, sin, any, amen, and incompetent people will never enter into the door, or the narrow door. As I've said, entering into the door of righteousness are a privilege to the believers. It's an opportunity for us because there are many doors where we can excel. God has given us different gifts where he can use it. God has given us different talents, different wisdom, so that we can create the whole body of Christ. But other people cannot enter in because they are incompetent. They are not, they are, they are, they are, uh, they wanted to serve God, but they won't leave their sinful natures. They want to leave their, they want, they don't want to leave their mistress. See? Yes, I want to serve God. But uh, don't li let my girlfriend go away. Amen? If your girlfriend is unbeliever, send it to God. Amen? And God will be glorified. So that incompetent, it says, incompetent people shall not be able. Why? Because God wants His people to be part in the ministry. He wants you and me to be part in the ministry. But how can we be confident so that we become confident in being incompetent? We need to confess our sins. God wants us to, 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 to continue from glory to glory up to perfection. Amen? So that we become confident when we ask forgiveness to God. And that way, God will be pleased to us. We need to repent our sins. We need to ask forgiveness, confess our sins, so that, again, God can use us. We are so much dirty in the eyes of God. But when we ask God, when we ask confession, when we repent all our sins, God will cleanse us. Because the blood of Jesus is so powerful to cleanse us from all our unrighteousness. Amen? Amen. Amen. And then, what are we going to do? We must be slim enough. We must be slim enough. Leave those unnecessary baggage. Leave those disqualifying factors. When we serve God, we need to leave those things. Why? Because God said, enter into the narrow door. That when you enter into the narrow door, you must be slim enough. So that when we become slim enough, we need to remove those disqualifying factors. We need to remove unnecessary things, unnecessary baggage. Meron nga, parang hindi ako magubuhay kung walang tentay patis. <laughs> they cannot live without Heinz ketchup. Many people like that. <laughs> See? But God wants us to be slim. God wants us to enter into the narrow door because Jesus said 
In John 14, 23, it says, it, can we just read it aloud? Ready, go. Jesus replied, If anyone loves me, he will obey my teachings. My Father will love him, and he will come to him, and he will have a home with him. Amen. See? If, if anyone loves me, who loves God? Amen. Amen. My Father, he will obey my teaching, my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our home with him. Amen? God wants us to obey His Word. To obey what God teaches us. To obey the Bible. God wants us to be a part in the ministry. God wants us to be slim enough to enter into the narrow door. The, the question is this. Are you slim enough? Amen. Amen? We need to strive to enter by the narrow door. That when we enter into the narrow door, these are the doors of salvation, the doors of righteousness. That the doors of righteousness, I do believe that most of us here receive Jesus as our Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. Then we are already entered. We already entered into the door of salvation. Now the thing is this, God wants us to use more so that we will enter into the door of righteousness. The door of service, the door of maturity, the door of growing, the door of holy of holies. God wants us to be a part in this door of righteousness. Why? So that we can receive reward from heaven. Amen. 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 Not only reward, but we will reward, receive eternal life. Amen? Amen. Because God said, choose the narrow door. Because it, it, you choose life. Amen? And then it says, the road to the narrow door has limitations. Lust of the eyes. Lust of the flesh. Pride of life. And it says that incompetent people shall not be able. In order for us to be incompetent, we need to remove disqualifying factors. We need to remove our sins. We need to confess our sins to God so that we become confident in the eyes of God. So that when we are confident in the eyes of God, God will give us the wisdom. Because we have the Spirit of God. The Spirit of the Lord is upon us. He has anointed us to preach the good news. He has sent us to proclaim freedom for the prisoners, the recovery of sight for the blind, and the release to press, and proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. God wants us to be confident. He don't want us to be incompetent. Because incompetent people will not inherit heaven. Amen? And then he says, we must be slim enough. Are we slim enough? Amen. 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 That as we as we enter into the narrow door, God wants us to be slim enough. Removing all those disqualifying factors that that disqualifies us to enter into the narrow door. Amen. Are you slim? Amen. 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 And then let me just conclude, brothers and sisters. You will not get to the door of salvation to the door of righteousness, to the door of holy place, accidentally. Because God has put you here. God has a plan for you. Why God has put you here? It's not accidental. But God wants you to be a part in the kingdom business. God wants you to be slim enough. Amen? And why we are all here? Because God wants us to be all slim. Amen? To be slim enough to enter into the door of salvation or to the door of of righteousness. And then he says, the only way to this door is you must be slim enough. You must be slim enough. In other words, you need to strive, make effort to enter into the door of righteousness, into the door of salvation. Amen? And not only that, he said that entering into this door has limitations. We cannot just enter through and through. But it's so hard to enter into the narrow doors. But God said that incompetent people cannot enter. We become competent when we ask forgiveness from God. Amen. Amen? And then God said, He commanded us, we must be slain enough. We must enter into the <clears throat> kingdom with, with the door of salvation, with the door of righteousness. So that when we enter into the door of salvation, we receive <coughs> eternal life. When we enter into the door of righteousness, we receive reward from heaven. Amen? Not everyone is going will receive rewards. Only those who are slim. slim enough. Only those who are slim enough can receive rewards from heaven. Amen? And not only that, being slim enough is a decision. You must enjoy it.